Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the old bird farm. Now, we looked around behind the shed a little bit before, but today I want to dive into it a little bit deeper since I've got this overhang off and can get to more of this rusty junk that's under here. And I thought I'd found most of the interesting stuff back here on the first video, but then the other Robert came out and he was pulling stuff out that was buried in the ground over here. So I want to jump in here and clean out some of this. A lot of this is just going to be scrap metal, but uh, let's get in it and take a look. All right, so here's our roof rack off of the 1960s Pontiac. I actually have no idea what it's off of, but we're going to have to add that. I'm going to move all of that scrap metal over to the big scrap metal pile over there in front of the barn, but I'll get to that later. I'll just throw this stuff over there for now. Let's see what's under the tire. Maybe about a dozen copperheads. Nope. No. Copperheads this time. I don't know. What is it? With old tires always being around. If you've ever watched any of my videos on Sidestep Adventures, it's one of my biggest gripes is just finding old tires. You just find them everywhere. Oh look, that tire was full of water. Look at it all pouring out of there. Maybe that's not a tire after all. Maybe it's actually a fountain. And I just made it work again. Just kidding. Let's get back over here to our junk. Alright, so here's something that I, I feel like I should know what this is. Almost like an old jack or something. But I don't recognize it right off. I feel like I've seen one before and should recognize it. So, if one of you guys knows what it is, drop me a comment. I'd like to know. I'm going to set this beside the shed for now. Just in case it's something really cool. This was the back of an air conditioner or refrigerator sometime. Uh, got me. Oh, a Clorox bottle. <laughs> that ain't too terribly old. That's disappointing to see. Hey, you know what? Here's the rest of our the rest of our roof rack is buried in here. Along with more scrap metal and more scrap metal. There it is. You know that actually would clean up pretty nice and could be reused. Hmm. There we go. There's our. There's more of our roof rack. This side's a little bit worse, but. We'll save it. We'll save it. I always wanted to put a roof rack on my old Mercury Comet. We've got an old lawnmower here that just needs some assembly. That's scrap. Here it is. This looks just like the other piece of our mystery item that we pulled out of the ground. I don't know what that is. I just, I recognize it, but I can't place it. We'll lean that over here too and save it until we find out what exactly it is. Well, I just don't know what to say about that. We got a whole four pack of genuine old Budweiser cans. It says Georgia Tax paid four and a half cents on the top of them. There we go. Just can't 
find any beer out here. It's all from the 70s. I wonder where all the copperheads are hiding. I can't believe there's not one waiting for me under this. There's a great. You know, sometimes you dig through a bunch of trash and to find the good stuff. And sometimes you realize that you're just digging through a bunch of trash and you're waiting for the good stuff. And maybe the good stuff just isn't going to come, but we do have another old hubcap right here. This looks uh, awfully close to the hubcap for my Mercury Comet, but I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can identify it. Let me know in the comments if you recognize that. For now, scrap pile. Scrap pile. Well, maybe not. What is that? That's nothing. What is this? I thought this was another muffler. And the vines have got that pretty good. This is the jar I saw, not even a canning jar, more like an old peanut butter jar. I wonder what these are. These are actually kind of interesting. Hmm. Alright, here's one for you. See if you can't tell me what this is. At first I thought it was the inside of a muffler that had just rotted apart, but it's not. What's that at the bottom? Ten fifty six. So we can't clean that off and read it. It says R A. It says P A one oh one four M fifty seven ten fifty six. This is pretty interesting. Almost looks like a uh huh. I wonder exactly what this is. Let me give you guys a closer look at the bottom of this. It's pretty interesting. It almost looks like a uh like a uh, primer right there see if we can't I don't know if it'll focus on that writing down there or not the ground just doesn't want to give this one up Same thing on the bottom, and same design as the other one. If I could only, there we go. There we go, got it out. Almost, the wisteria had a hold to it. This is pretty interesting. I really want to know what these are. They won't go in the scrap pile just yet. They'll, they'll lay right there. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Interesting. This is some kind of tank. 
Don't know what. Nothing really descriptive on it. But how about this? In the video the other day, I found some coal inside of the shed. We've got some more right here. Interesting. I'll put that right there. Just a, oh, this is a, this is a canning jar right here. First I thought it was just a mayonnaise jar. This is an Atlas, Atlas Mason jar. Save that. This is pretty neat. This is an old light right here. That's kind of cool. We'll keep that right here. Another kind of old jar, but screw top. Not really a canning jar. Another one of these brown jars. Something in it. Got another can of PBR. And an old apple juice jug. All right, so we're kind of at a midway point in going through here. Here's the Atlas Mason jar I found. I think that's pretty neat for what it is. But I thought we'd bring a rake over here and just kind of kind of rake back through this area and see what comes up from the oh, we got something and see what comes up under the first few layers of dirt here oh look this one still has a moonshine in it <laughs> this old mayonnaise jar probably and set it over here. What is that? Unidentifiable scrap metal. Here's another piece of coal. Which looks like they had some kind of coal stove out here. This baby food jar. Or maybe they just stored the coal out here. They had a coal stove somewhere else. What is that? That's a vine. That's more of that darn wisteria. But I am. Where? I hear something. I hear something. Let's see. It is another jar. Nope, oh, nope. Nothing interesting. Just an old peanut jar or something. I was hoping maybe if we got down down below all of this trash and stuff. Maybe we'd find something else older hidden down there, but maybe we just need to come out here and dig a little test pit and see if uh, so maybe we just need to come out here at the shovel and dig a test pit and see what all is under there. Alright everybody, well, I'm getting tired so it's about time to wrap up this video. We got a lot of stuff out from behind this shed though. I'm going to show it to you before we close out. And I got to move a lot of stuff over to the scrap metal pile. We'll keep going another day and uh, if I find anything interesting you'll be there with me. Here is the trash wrap up. We got interesting stuff or somewhat interesting stuff over here. There's that neat little light I found. 
And then of course we have these two items again. Let me know in the comments if you recognize what that is. I'm telling you I've seen it somewhere before. I just can't place it. And then over here at our scrap metal pile, I didn't realize I pulled that much stuff out. Probably just looks bigger all piled up like that. We've got all of this junk. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.